tales and stories with moral. Beauty and the Beast, a tale of transformation and true love. The Enchanted Castle. In a faraway land, nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, stood a grand castle. The castle, once resplendent with joy and laughter, had fallen into a state of gloom and mystery. This was the castle of Prince Leo, who had been cursed by an enchantress for his selfishness and arrogance. Prince Leo, transformed into a fearsome beast, roamed the halls of his castle with a heavy heart. His only companions were the enchanted servants who had also fallen under the spell. The prince knew that to break the curse, he had to learn to love and be loved in return before the last petal of an enchanted rose fell. The Village of Harmony Not far from the castle, in a cheerful village called Harmony, lived a young girl named Bella. Bella was kind-hearted, intelligent, and loved by all who knew her. She lived with her father, Maurice, an eccentric inventor who was always tinkering with new ideas. Despite their modest living, Bella and Maurice were content with their lives. Bella spent her days reading books and helping her father with his inventions. She dreamed of adventure in a life beyond the village, but she never imagined just how extraordinary her life was about to become. The Unfortunate Journey One fateful day, Maurice set out on a journey to showcase his latest invention at a distant fair. As he traveled through the dense forest, a sudden storm forced him to seek shelter. He stumbled upon the enchanted castle, unaware of its dark secret. Desperate for warmth, Maurice entered the castle. He marveled at the opulent, yet eerie, surroundings. As he explored, he discovered a magnificent rose garden and, entranced by its beauty, picked a single rose for Bella. Instantly, the beast appeared, roaring in anger. You dare to steal from me, the beast bellowed. Maurice pleaded for mercy, explaining that the rose was for his beloved daughter. The beast, though furious, saw an opportunity. He agreed to let Maurice go on one condition, Bella must come to the castle in his place. Bella's Sacrifice When Maurice returned to the village, he told Bella of his ordeal. Without hesitation, Bella decided to go to the castle to save her father. Though the villagers tried to dissuade her, Bella was resolute. She bid her father farewell and set off for the castle, her heart filled with both fear and determination. Upon arriving, Bella was greeted by the enchanted servants who, though trapped in their cursed forms, treated her with kindness. Lumiere, a charming candelabra, and Cogsworth, a meticulous clock, explained the curse and the beast's plight. They hoped that Bella could be the one to break the spell. The Beast's Heart At first, the beast was gruff and unapproachable. Bella, though frightened, showed courage and compassion. She saw beyond his monstrous exterior and treated him with kindness. The beast, unused to such warmth, slowly began to soften. Days turned into weeks, and Bella and the beast started to spend more time together. They walked in the gardens, read books in the grand library, and shared meals. Bella's kindness and intelligence intrigued the beast, and he began to realize the depth of his past mistakes. A blossoming friendship. As the days passed, Bella and the beast's relationship grew from reluctant companionship to genuine friendship. The beast learned to control his temper and started to care deeply for Bella. Bella, in turn, began to see the goodness hidden beneath his rough exterior. One evening, the beast showed Bella his enchanted rose, explaining the curse in its entirety. Bella listened with empathy, understanding the gravity of the beast's predicament. She promised to stay and help him, hoping that her presence might bring about a change. A dance to remember. In an effort to express his growing affection, the beast arranged a grand ball for Bella. The enchanted servants worked tirelessly to prepare the castle. Bella, dressed in a beautiful golden gown, descended the grand staircase, taking the beast's breath away. They danced gracefully across the ballroom floor, their hearts beating in unison. In that moment, the beast realized he had fallen in love with Bella. Bella, too, felt a deep connection with the beast, though she did not yet recognize it as love. The Threat from the Village Meanwhile, back in the village, rumors of the beast and the castle spread like wildfire. Gaston, a boastful hunter who had long sought Bella's hand in marriage, saw an opportunity to rid himself of his rival. He rallied the villagers, inciting fear and anger. 
Gaston led the villagers to the castle, armed with torches and weapons. Bella, sensing danger, pleaded with the beast to let her warn the villagers. The beast, trusting Bella, allowed her to go, though it pained him to let her leave. The Battle at the Castle As Bella arrived in the village, she tried to reason with the angry mob, but Gaston's words had already sown deep fear. The villagers stormed the castle, determined to destroy the beast. A fierce battle ensued, with the enchanted servants doing their best to defend their home. Gaston confronted the beast, taunting and attacking him. Weakened by his inner turmoil and the villagers' assault, the beast struggled to fight back. Just as Gaston was about to deliver a fatal blow, Bella arrived and cried out for Gaston to stop. True Love's Power Bella's desperate plea gave the beast the strength to defend himself. Gaston, consumed by his own arrogance, slipped and fell from the castle's rooftop. Bella rushed to the beast's side, cradling him as he lay wounded. Tears streaming down her face, Bella confessed her love for the beast, realizing in that moment the depth of her feelings. As the last petal of the enchanted rose fell, a radiant light enveloped the beast, lifting him into the air. The Transformation The curse was broken. The beast transformed back into Prince Leo, his human form restored. The enchanted servants also returned to their original selves, rejoicing in their newfound freedom. Bella, amazed and overjoyed, gazed at Leo with love and wonder. Leo, now a changed man thanked Bella for teaching him the true meaning of love and compassion. They embraced, their hearts full of happiness and gratitude. A new beginning. Prince Leo and Bella returned to the village, where they were warmly welcomed. The villagers, having seen the power of true love and transformation, celebrated the couple's union. Leo and Bella's love story became a legend, inspiring generations to come. The castle, once shrouded in darkness, was now filled with light and laughter. Prince Leo and Princess Bella ruled with kindness and wisdom, their love a beacon of hope for all who knew them. The End The Moral of the Story The tale of beauty and the beast teaches us that true beauty lies within. It reminds us to look beyond outward appearances and to value kindness, compassion, and love. Transformation and redemption are possible when we open our hearts and embrace the power of love.